along with eager conquistadors, guns, cavalry, and Christianity, the age of exploration unintentionally brought what would become the number one destroyer of Native American populations. It is estimated that as much as 95% of Native Americans throughout North and South America were decimated by disease within a short time of the arrival of the Europeans. Killing more than any swords, guns, or armies combined, smallpox, a disease stemming from dense populations of domesticated animals, killed about 50% of the Inca population in the first epidemic during the early 16th century. Smallpox first appeared over 3,000 years ago, but because of the relative seclusion of the natives in the Americas, it was not known in the New World until its first recorded outbreak in 1518, when crew members from a Spanish ship spread the disease to the native peoples of Hispaniola, today known as the Dominican Republic and Haiti. The disease rapidly wiped out over half of the native population there. In 1520, one of the soldiers under Spanish explorer Hernán Cortés unwittingly started an epidemic that spread the disease throughout the empire, killing a third of the Aztec population. Why were these outbreaks so seemingly one-sided? Why weren't European populations decimated by New World diseases? Most infectious diseases are a result of germs passed on to humans from close-quartered domesticated animals. And while the Europeans had many more kinds of domestic animals than the native peoples of the New World, they also had built-up immunities that the natives lacked. Smallpox is considered one of the most perilous of infectious diseases in human history. The disease killed hundreds of millions of people over the centuries. In the 20th century alone, it killed over 300 million people before it was finally declared eradicated in 1979.